when the smoke goes above the threshold. Hello there, today I would like to show you something rather interesting. I want to talk about the MQ2 gas sensor and how it can be interfaced with Arduino. This sensor is very important in projects where we are going to include things like air quality monitoring, gas leak, alarm systems and fire detection systems. So without wasting a lot of time, let me first have a closer look at this sensor. So this is our sensor. The sensor contains a sensing material which changes resistance with change in concentration of gases. So this sensor can be used to detect a number of gases like LPG, propane, methane, hydrogen, alcohol, smoke and carbon monoxide. However, it cannot distinguish the different types of gases. So it's only for detecting the concentration of the given gas. Let's have a look at the behind part here. The major component here is this potentiometer. This potentiometer acts as adjustment for the sensitivity. Then we also have this chip. This is what they call the LM393 comparator. And this comparator is for checking this analog pin. You discover here we have the analog pin and the digital pin. So when you are programming all when you use this sensitivity adjustment potentiometer, we set a threshold for the concentration of gases that we need in a given situation. So this comparator, what it does is that it is going to check the analog pin for the threshold concentration of the gas that we need. So when this threshold is reached, the comparator changes that signal to a digital signal. Therefore, that's the relationship between this I don't know if I can see it properly. We have the analog output and the digital output. So this analog output can be converted to the digital output using this comparator. And this can even enable us to use this sensor without any microcontroller. It can be used even without the Arduino because it's able to give these digital signal outputs. Yeah, those are the major ones. Then here we have the VCC. This sensor uses only 5 volts, so you just connect this VCC to the 5 volts of the Arduino and then the ground is going to go to the ground. So now we have connected our sensor to the Arduino and as you can see here, it's very simple. What we do is just connect the analog pin to analog output A0. Then you also have the digital pin. In this case, we are going to connect it to pin 8 of our Arduino board and then we have also included a simple I2C LCD. I've already talked about this a lot of times, so you, uh, by now most of you know how to use this one, so you can connect it. I've also included an alarm which is going to produce a sound when the threshold is reached for detecting the concentration of a given gas. So, in this case, we are going to be using this as a smoke detector. In other words, we're going to use it maybe in a fire detection system. Whereby if a fire begins, you can be able to see the smoke and the alarm is going to de detect the smoke and give an alarm. And then the LCD is going to simply enable us to show the concentration of the smoke in parts per, parts per mil. And then in this case, we have set our threshold as 300 ppm. So if the concentration goes above 300, the alarm is going to go on. So let's upload our program and test so now i've uploaded the program and one thing you have to discover is that this sensor should be given around maybe 20 seconds for the sensor to warm up so that it can be able to work properly so that is what is happening here we're waiting for 20 seconds for the sensor to warm up so after warming up you can see it is showing you that the value is 267 ppm in other words no smoke remember our threshold is 300 so in this case let me give a simple demonstration i will light the paper here so that i can produce some smoke uh -huh. i'm really interested in the smoke so i can even put the flame out so that you can produce some smoke so you have smoke yeah so you see 
when the smoke goes above the threshold so smoke is detected okay then one other aspect we have said is that this sensor does not differentiate the different types of gases so in this case i'm using smoke i'm using it to detect smoke but it can also be used to for example let me use a simple spray for example this spray here in most cases this spray contains some um, alcohol quantity in it so if i for example spray here so you discover that the alarm still goes on because it has detected a change in the gas concentration around the sensor but in this case i've not used smoke i've used my spray containing some alcohol content so that's maybe one of the downside of the sensor it only detects the concentration of the gases but it does not tell you which gas it is exactly so hope you have enjoyed my tutorial don't forget to subscribe and like my videos thanks for watching see you in another video